Coach Day, you had a wild trip down to Auburn, and uh, first off, congratulations, because uh, those are pretty high scores for all the adversity your team went through. I agree 100%. Our kids are built tough. Their cadets are a different breed. You know, it took us anywhere from 18 to 24 hours to get to where we were going with about three hours of sleep. In fact, one athlete with one coach drove straight to the competition. Um, but we made it happen. We knew Auburn was going to put together a good show, and they really did. They had a really good crowd, about 4,000, and it was a military appreciation day. Um, it, we were very well received, got standing ovations, had a lot of people hang out and take pictures with their children afterwards. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was very challenging. And again, I was very proud of the kids' performance and adversity with so little sleep. But they got through, and uh, yes, we could have done a little better, but obviously, even if we had five hours of sleep, we probably would have done better. But uh, overall, they did a great job. So now you get ready for MPSF. Your team, uh, the second highest score is going into this thing, so that's your highest ranking ever going in. Yep, we're ranked second, um, right above uh, San Jose State and then the rest of the field. UC Davis is on their A game. Um, but you know, when we were out there two weeks ago, we had a little mishap on beam, um, but we were right there with them, right there within a point. And we have yet to go 24 for 24 on our A game, meaning hitting every set, sticking every routine. So it's not out of the question, you know, if we put it all together, we've got a good shot of winning this thing. Yeah. So you feel pretty confident. Is this the most confident you felt going into the MPSFs? Absolutely. Being ranked second, you know, going against those other teams head to head throughout the year and beating them, um, except for Davis at their place. But uh, I feel real confident. The teams really come together, of course, as every team. Yeah. We all have little aches and pains and hurts. In fact, we had one of our top uh, beam workers go down two days ago. She was doing a, a beam drill on floor and took out her ankle. So unfortunately, she's not going to make the trip. Cameron Barber, who is consistently 9, 8, and above um, on beam, and she's gotten into her own on, on bars with 9.6s, 9.65s. But it's nice to have depth. So we've got a couple other kids that um, throughout the last three weeks, we've been changing our lineup, trying to rest kids. So we're going to have a real good squad to go in there. All right, fantastic. Uh, good luck. Have fun this weekend. Thank you very much. Go Falcons.